We've all been there. You want to find something to watch, but you've seen everything or you can't find anything good. Well, here are some movies you might have missed. Number one, Dave Made a Maze. What is this? I built a labyrinth. Can you believe it? The plot of this comedy is pretty straightforward. Dave is unemployed and never finishes anything. So one day while his girlfriend's at work, he makes a maze out of cardboard in his living room. From there, it gets a little freaky because the maze seems to have a life on its own and it's way bigger on the inside. So Dave gets lost inside his own maze. When his girlfriend Annie comes home, she is forced to go on a rescue mission together with a group of his friends. This movie is visually unique and even if some of the jokes fall a little flat sometimes, it is still a really fun movie to watch. Instead of trying to defeat the maze, we've got to complete the maze. We're not just doing that because it rhymes. Well then how about instead of trying to diminish it, you guys help me finish it. Number two, Blue Ruin. He's going to be released. And I don't know how much you they are missed. This was one of my favorite movies of 2013. Blue Ruin is an amazing thriller and the less you know about it, the better. But in a nutshell, it's about a man on a mission for revenge, but not in an action kind of way. This guy is not a conventional badass, nor does he have any special skills. He's just a regular dude who wants to get back at someone for what they've done. This low budget indie movie is gritty and unlike anything I've seen. So definitely check this one out if you haven't seen it. Number three, 10 items or less. I don't want to handle this. Sneak me in through the back, maybe? For what? This is fine. In this comedy drama, Morgan Freeman plays a big Hollywood actor who is researching a role for an independent film. When he gets stranded somewhere in LA, he meets a girl named Scarlett at a Latino supermarket who decides to help him get back to his home in Brentwood. You don't know your number. What are you, 12? You don't know your own phone number. Not this week. This is one of those movies that is really unassuming, but you just can't stop watching. And that's mainly because of the chemistry between Morgan Freeman and Pass Vega. The story is very small, and although there's not a lot going on, it's still very, very charming. Number four, Bone Tomahawk. Why are you in my breakfast? There's a uh, situation. This movie can only be described as a Western horror. It's about a small town that gets raided by a group of cannibal savages. This terrifying tribe kidnapped a few of the townsfolk. So a couple of local gunslingers played by Kurt Russell, Patrick Wilson, Matthew Fox and Richard Jenkins set out to rescue them. Relax gentlemen, relax. Don't be scared. I am a friend. You aren't. You're a stranger and a sneak. I've always been a big fan of Kurt Russell, especially when he plays in a western. But I have to warn you, even though this movie is set in the old west, this is a brutal and gory horror movie. It starts off slow, but it gets super intense. Number 5. Gentlemen Broncos Oh mother, a battle stack. I hate those. This weird comedy came from the mind of Jared Hess, who also made Napoleon Dynamite. It's about a small town kid who wants to be a sci-fi novelist. When he goes to a writing camp and meets his idol, a writer who hasn't produced anything for a while, his work gets stolen. To be honest, this is definitely a guilty pleasure of mine because the movie is not the best, but I like it because it's just so very strange. It has Sam Rockwell flying through the air on a rocket-powered deer, and it also has Jemaine Clement, which is always a plus. My mind is a landscape of mystery, of thrills, a place where even the bravest of travelers would be shaken by its guises of original thought. But you're not gonna find a heartfelt story. This is just one of those movies that's so dumb it becomes funny. Almost like a Tim and Eric sketch. So if you like that sort of thing, you might wanna check this one out. That's it for this episode. If you like this video, feel free to click on the blue M&M or maybe share it with a friend. Until next time. You might have triggered a booby trap. Okay, I think we're good. Oh.